there's this disconnect that we have in our society between what we eat and, you know, like basically we think it's a what, but it's actually a who. And most people really do love animals. So the reason I did this veg fest is because I'm always doing vegan outreach in Burlington and I hear the same things over and over again. Like, I don't know why people are vegan or I really like to go vegan, but I have no idea how. I was vegetarian for 10 years, uh, but part of the reason I didn't transition during that whole 10 years is I was such a picky eater, and I honestly didn't think I could be vegan and also happy <laughs> and satisfied at the same time, and I just didn't know enough. And there's so many better vegan options these days than people might be used to. So I'm always doing outreach and people are like, yeah, but I hear, I hear. It's like cardboard. I hear you don't get the nutrients. I hear, right? So it's a lot of misinformation. For example, the Canadian Food Guide, I'm not sure if you're aware, but in 2017 it was updated and it's 85% vegan. The festival features more than 60 vendors, primarily showcasing various vegan food products. However, vegan cosmetics, apparel, and a few animal sanctuaries will also be featured. Burlington Veg Fest aims to provide more information and support. Like for example, Challenge 22 is a worldwide program that has gives free mentorship. So if you say, you know what, I'm not really into the plant-based meats, how can I get my pro my protein? Well, they have uh, licensed uh, vegan nutritionists that can help you, and it's all free. So I actually started uh, trying more plant-based foods, mostly for the environment. Um, one liter of milk takes about 600 liters of water. One quarter pound uh, burger takes about 2,000 liters of water and the vegan and plant-based options are only about like 10 to 15 percent as many resources as the animal-based products so even if you're just interested in being a little bit lighter on the earth obviously it's a little bit lighter on your body in almost every single circumstance um, and then also you have the aspect that you don't have to harm other life forms so it just sort of checks all of the different boxes and even if someone isn't looking to commit fully to a plant-based life style even I say like starting with like a meatless Monday or like a veggie taco Tuesday like one uh, plant-based meal a week is actually about like six times better for the environment than if you recycled as much as you can. We also have a kid station, face painting for the kids, some activities, learning about animals. We also have speakers that are going to talk about uh, veganism and a, and a plant-based diet and the, the health benefits of that. The speakers include a keynote by Dr. Zara Kassam, a radiation oncologist and co-founder of Plant-Based Canada. And then you'll find some really good substitutions that if you're thinking about that meatless meal, you're not thinking about like dry, bland tofu and wheatgrass. You can imagine something really rich and delicious and satisfying. And then it checks all those other boxes as well because it's better for your body, planet, animals, all that good stuff. The festival's this Saturday from noon to 6 p.m. at Burl Oak Waterfront Park. There will be a shuttle bus provided running from the Appleby GO station. While admission is free, they're encouraging donations towards buying vegan food for the Burlington Food Bank. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.